Hey folks, welcome back to Three Pound Fishing. Today, we're gonna put some big crappie in the boat. Let me tell you, this is a cold, cold, cold winter day. And let me tell you, you think this episode's starting off kind of, you know, slow, easy, but let me tell you, this is about Whoa, to happen. It's cold. <laughs> folks, we're gonna adjust. We're gonna catch some winter crappie. And let me tell you, it is cold out there, and this is the first real winter cold day. Here we go. All right, folks, we're back on my favorite lake. It is a 27 degree weather day, 10 mile an hour winds. It is cold. Got some snow on the ground. Check it out. And today we are taking the, the new wrapped boat on its first fishing experience. So kind of psyched about that. You're gonna sneak peek at the jerseys too. Uh, the new jerseys we got in for 2020. We got hoodies, we got everything. So we're psyched about it. But today's agenda is to put fish in the boat. Winter time, I haven't fished in a week waiting for this boat. So I'm just gonna cruise some points, try to find some fish. I've been coming out of the north pretty consistently. so. I'm gonna guess that they're pretty stacked up. So stick with me. Here we go. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> Bam! It is a cold day, folks. Let me tell you. A lot colder than I thought it was gonna be. 27 degrees, I know. It doesn't sound that cold, I guess. I've fished in much colder, but I guess with that 10 mile an hour plus wind, I don't even know if it's 10 mile an hour, I'll be honest with you. It could be, it could be worse than that. <laughs> Good fish. That's a good start to an episode. Haven't been out here long. That's a small little guy, but he was aggressive. That's pretty cool. Woo, good fish. Good start, and thanks for joining me today. It is cold. Check out the gloves. Fish monkey gloves. Pretty cool, like keep your hands warm. Folks, all right. Cold, cold crappie. Let them go today. That's number two. Number two. Hitting with a hit on with a curly tail and a green head. High vis line. Six pound and cold. Woo! The key right now is to let that sucker drop all the way down. All the way down. These fish, for some reason, have gone deeper. I've checked almost. I mean, I've we've been to a lot of points. Mike Geiger's on the on the lake today with me, and they have definitely gone deeper. We had a huge cold front come through, snow the whole nine yards. Water temperatures dropped probably about four degrees, and these fish, since yesterday, have dropped probably about four or five feet. So. Instead of fishing in that four to five foot of water, we're now hitting 12 foot down to get these fish. We'd much rather catch them shallow, up against the weed edge, way more concentrated, usually way more active. about it.
trolley motor. It doesn't have enough juice. It's like one of the batteries isn't charged up. All right, guys, we're taking a break from the action. Uh, I need to charge my, uh, I got to charge my trolley motor. For some reason, it didn't get charged last night. I have no idea why. Things like that do happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that double jig setup once again. And I think because of what I'm experiencing out there in terms of the bite, it's slow. Uh, I'm going to go with a really smaller head, like a 132nd ounce head. Two of them actually, because when it gets slow, I don't have any minnows. Um, I like the double jig setup. So we're going to set this up right now. I'm going to start off by putting a 32nd ounce head on the top hook. So I'm going to bring that all the way through. I'm going to get myself plenty of line to work with. And again, I'm just going to loop it around like this a couple times. And then grab that head and that loop that I've been holding on to. So I don't get all tangled up here. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put it right back through that loop. Uh, I've been holding on to it. I'm going to drag the head all the way through and there's the how you were starting to form that loop knot and I'm going to try to keep it relatively close to the head because it's the high one. If I don't do that it tends to want to get tangled up on the, the main line. So there's our number one and that's a 32nd ounce head. So now I'm going to bring this guy down and I'm going to put a probably a 1 8 ounce head I'm trying to try to do something a little different right now because the bite is a little bit more difficult I don't know if it's that temperature change or whatever we have a great wind and there it is swinging it around I've decided that I'm about a foot a foot and a half apart put it right back through that loop knot right th back through that loop I should say tighten it up you should lick that you don't have to. And there is our, our my two baits right there. Now I just gotta choose the plastics. So bluegrass from Jinko. I take their curly tail. I think it's a little long right now. It probably work, but I like to take a little bit off of it. give that a try and then we're going to use the uh, kind of a, the monkey milk on this one right here so good day you're seeing the this is the the first time I've wore the uh, the hoodie so we got our hoodies proud Ozark rods of course three pound fishing bunch of stuff on there and represent those companies during the tournament trail so let's talk about the tournament trail I, shall we uh, this year we're going to do American Crappie Trail. We're excited about that. We're going to do, I think, six events with them. And uh, there's going to be a lot of footage coming from those tournaments. So it's pre-fishing, the tournaments themselves. You're going to get to see everything. Uh, we'll bring in to the weigh-ins, all that stuff. So it should be a great experience. I believe we're only going to do one Crappie Masters main event qualifier, which will be at, at Grenada in March. And that should be fun. I really like that organization. We have fun there as well. And we just like Grenada, so I know that the ACT is going to be there as well. So um, we go there anytime we possibly can. And uh, and then we're going to do some local crappie masters events. I believe one or two here, and then of course our local events. So we're going to have a lot of footage this year. It's going to be exciting. I mean, really is. I mean, more than we've ever had in terms of tournaments. I think last year we did roughly around four, uh, and we also showed you around the local event. But this year, there's going to be a lot of different lakes throughout the entire summer, spring, uh, even some of the fall. So we look forward to it. So anyway, we're going to get this hooked up and get back on the water. Thanks for watching. There we go. I'm just curious what color it, 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 it hit. Good fish here. Really good fish here. Ooh, a 
that's a 14 incher. Wow. That's a good fish right there, folks. Bam. We're starting to figure this out. You gotta be jigging for them. Good kick too. Good kick. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo! You gotta love it, man. The thump. It's a tough bite today. Still putting slabs in the boat. Tough bite today. We adjusted, you know, throwing the throwing the jigs. I mean, they just want it really slow, probably, but they're deeper now, so you can uh, you can just go right on top of them and vertical jig it. Find some structure today. Might not be that way tomorrow, but. about him. piles now vertical fishing heavy weight quarter ounce weight to get it down there quick it's all we can do right now the curly tail on the casting is not working minnows if I could go back and do it again I'd bring some minnows I think we'd be crushing it right now if we had minnows but you never know that gonna end it for us folks what a great day in the water boy they like that yellow and white first winter experience big time winter experience this year in terms of coldness anyway I mean it's legit legit Thanks for watching another 3-Pound Fishing episode sponsored by these great companies.